Let's talk about Hudson Yards because everybody else is. It's a project that's really going to dramatically reshape the west side of Manhattan. Now take a look at the thing in the middle. Uh, a unique, somewhat perhaps controversial set of uh, stairs. A great big staircase. The name for this structure is the vessel. And uh, it looks a little bit like, according to some, a honeycomb. Maybe <laughs> something from Logan's Run. Actually, I think it's very intriguing, and I love new structures coming to New York City. We now meet the man who designed this thing. Yes, he's with us from, uh, well, I met him the other night at the Hudson Yards opening. His name is Thomas Heatherwick. He's from London, uh, but he's with us this morning. Nice to have you here. Thank you so much. So I, I, I heard the developer, uh, Stephen Ross, uh, talk about how he wanted... An, a statement for his Hudson Yards. He mm. wanted something like a Christmas tree, like Rockefeller Center. <laughs> and then you decided to do what exactly? <laughs> well, my, my passion is public projects. And the incredible thing that struck me about Hudson Yards is that um, it's a phenomenal thing in the center, one of the thought leading capitals on the, in the planet, to be able to make uh, a square as big as Trafalgar Square you know, right in the center with 17 million square foot around. And so what's going to do justice to, to all the amazing buildings and, you know, the high line that's revolutionized public space in the world. So, you know, the stakes were high and, and there were people who are really ambitious. Now, I'm looking and at this thing Mr. right Ross, now. Mr. you know, really yeah. wanted to do something. Sir, stairs go up, stairs go down. Uh, <laughs> where are they all leading? What, what, what's, what's the thrust of this? What's, what are we trying to accomplish well, here? Well, our, our commission was to make a landmark uh, to be a center point, And it just struck us that no, there's been no big... Um, uh, there's no battle there. Normally, squares are in commemoration of people... Uh, soldiers who died or um, battles that have happened this and is this is new land above the railway lines somebody said it's like a social climber and because it's so like we decided to make something that people could use and enjoy and I remember coming to New York uh, in the early 90s and I'd never seen people in suits with sneakers, like bright white sneakers. That was kind a of thing exercise, for a while. You know, <laughs> yeah. New York, unlike in London, where I think they're vaguely still wearing bowler hats or whatever, rough, roughly then, <laughs> exercise. And so we thought, well, why not make something it's 16 stories high? I, I found an old staircase once when I was going to my old college, and a staircase seemed an amazing thing. So this actually has 156 stair staircases, 80 new public spaces, and I mean, when was the last time you walked up 16 stories? Well, that's you know, the thing. It's like, I, I prefer the elevator. Why are climbing <laughs> frames? Why are climbing frames for children? What about the elevator? What about an escalator? Will you install one of those? From the beginning, we've had a really beautiful elevator, which will be just for people who can't climb stairs so easily. So when you climb the stairs, what, what do you see when you get up there? Is it just each art? other? Each other, because this space can take you know, many thousands of people, but. The, a beautiful public space that works really well. What we all enjoy is the chemistry between each other. So our idea was just to take the people, uh, New Yorkers, all of us, and just lift us up and make something that you would never have experienced anywhere else in the world. Can and I see I, it one more time, please? Because, uh, look, I love it. I like that. I like new things. It's, but I don't like, you don't like people are going to get tired. <laughs> You're lazy. <laughs> I mean, Where are your sneakers? I mean, wait, this is yeah. just basically like climbing a bunch of steps, like a jungle gym, like climbing for the fun <laughs> of it. So when you walk along the High Line, do you think, I'm wasting my energy walking along? Don't get me started on the High Line. Right. Right. Okay. I, I, I preferred when there were trains up there. Uh, but Thomas, this is going to be free, right? You can free for everyone. And this, I've never seen a commission, whatever somebody thinks of this, there is... A, commissioning like this it's a century since anyone has commissioned with this confidence I mean it's a real sign of New York being a, a really extraordinary place so, on the planet so it's hundred and fifty million dollars just for this vessel mm -hmm. and it's being built already right yeah yeah it's it's all the main steelwork is done and designed to handle I mean I was I was here in New York during Hurricane Sandy and things like that like New York really gets hit by some weather so it's tough it's strong it's building on the heritage of New York amazing steelwork. I mean, the steelwork here is incredible. So it'll start being assembled uh, at the beginning of the new year, and, and it'll take about a year to put it all together. 
but um, we hope people will, it's a platform. It could be the world's biggest slinky competition. <laughs> the workout you do at six o'clock every morning uh, and, uh, and keeps you fit and trim, or it can be a place where somebody performs something, has dinners on all of these things, and play with it. It's, you it's a platform for us all. Thomas, you're an interesting guy. I like it. But. I like it. No, <laughs> but. No, but, no but involved. Uh, where did you actually sketch this thing out? Where were you? I mean, you had to, like, you had to well, come up uh, with blueprints. Well, we, we, we spent a, a lot of time uh, just pacing around the area and trying to think, why would you, why, what new, often new developments feel a bit dead. And so actually the idea just emerged while walking around and talking with brilliant people and our collaborators here in New York and just started to think, how could you do something that doesn't exist anywhere else in the world? And my God, there's, a, there's the confidence to do it and make it happen. So it's this is incredible. really cool. So you're building it in Italy, you're gonna put it on ships, yeah. uh, bring it here yeah. and assemble, it's gonna take about a year. Yeah. Like the Statue of Liberty. So I, want, I mean, you know, a thousand people can be on it at the same time. I mean, it's the last time things like this were commissioned was when the Statue of Liberty happened. Can we see it one more time, please? Again? Are we gonna be allowed to take selfies on this? Of course, okay. we, I, want to, I want our next discussion to be up there, uh, you know, a year from now, okay. standing on the top, you got a deal. and then when the whole square opens, actually two years from now, we want all New Yorkers, a thousand of us to be But again, it. no shops in there, it's not like you're going to go no, up. No, this isn't for, commercial. It's this not is a, commercial. This is a public, a public thing and, for everyone. Up and down the steps. Yeah. It's, well, and I don't know whether you've got an image, but we did some research on these things called step wells in India, the total opposite, they go down into the ground. But the stairs were like a meditation, really beautiful things. And I mean, there's a 1,200 foot high tower. It didn't seem like what was needed was something about highness. Instead, it was about social dynamic. So, yeah. 16 stories relative to the 1,200. So, these are the step wells you're talking about in yeah, India. Yeah, they're the most beautiful thing. But you can see they're not just about going down to the water. There's, there's, it's place making and almost uh, a sort of reflective, meditative uh, thing to do. And so this object is, is I think, uh, will be a special thing for you to interpret. You could, one person might see it as a very special uh, experience. Someone else, it's just a keep fit device. <laughs> Someone else, it's a place to perform. You know, it's for, for New Yorkers to do what they want. With Thomas, it. you couldn't start out doing something like this. When you first started, what was like your first project? I mean, you can't start on something you know, was it like a, I don't know, a 7-Eleven or something? You got to start small when you're an architect, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. No one commissions you to do massive things. I'm very lucky now to be working on the, on the uh, Lincoln Center's new concert hall. And we're working oh. with the... Della von Verstenberg Foundation on the Pier 55, you might know about. Yeah, with the very um, Diller Pier. First, but yes, Your my first, first thing gig was Christmas though. cards. Your first gig was yeah, a Christmas yeah. card? <laughs> when I was five, when I was five and six, um, I, and I was, I was very lucky to, my very first commission was uh, a, a collection of awards that were given out by Princess Diana. You designed on the her, trophy. On her last trophy that Did were given. Did you meet her? Yes, she was amazing. It was actually the day after there had been the Waits incident where a photographer had taken a photograph of her uh, in a gym somehow, this terrible picture had come out. And my, my awards that I'd designed, um, my idea was that these 12 awards would go together to make a giant chalice and everyone got a piece of it. The key word was giant. And so when I met her, I kind of was there. I was a student at the time and I sort of went, um, I, I'm supposed to give you one of these. And she just looked at me and went, don't worry, I do weights. <laughs> and, she, she, and it was her last public engagement. That was the last time she decided wow. to do it. And she was hilarious, a very uh, uh, a stunning, charismatic person. And he, she sort of inspired everyone around her. Hey, we liked her. And that queen was not nice to her. Boy, oh boy. Well, Thomas he Heatherwood. He still lives in London. He's not going to say anything about the queen. Oh, yeah, we'll leave her out. Well, we can. But <laughs> Thomas Heatherwood, congratulations. I look forward to uh, walking the steps at least once. So will you? Will yeah, at least once. Yeah, yeah. Just, okay. like the, just like the highlight. Okay, let's see you at the top. Two years from now, let's All do right. it. Thank you so much for coming Pleasure. in. Congratulations. Pleasure. Thank Good you. Good luck.